Welcome back everyone, it is Caleb from Caleb the Video Maker 2 and this is your MySQL tutorial series. We are going to continue our discussion of beginner terms and the term we're going to start with is the foreign key. A foreign key is a column that references another column in another table. Often this will point back to a primary key. It does not have to reference a primary key, it could reference a unique column. Essentially, it's just a way to reference another entity, and that entity has to be labeled unique, or else it's not going to know which entity you want to reference. For example, if you have these two people, and you want to reference the person from over here somewhere, how do you tell it which one you want to reference? There has to be a way to uniquely describe these people, so often it'll be an ID. And then you could say, oh, the person with the ID of seven is being referenced in this row. All of these rules, including primary key, unique, and foreign key, these are all known as constraints. Constraints are something that are very important to protect our data integrity. That's because they force relationships to hold true. If we didn't use constraints, we could still use the value seven over here, but we're going to get rid of this reference. And that means if this person gets deleted or something, that this seven is no longer meaningful for anything. In that situation, our data would be outdated. We don't want that. That would violate data integrity rules. So to force those integrity rules, we use constraints. Another way that we force integrity is using data types. <laughs> That's pretty bad. <laughs> MySQL has a plethora of data types, and we are going to discuss many of them in upcoming videos. Every column is going to have a data type. That way the database knows how to interpret that data. The way the database works with data depends on the data type. One area where this is important is if we have a numeric column. That means numbers, and we try to store a string in there, that's not going to work. And by that not working, we are taking another step to protecting our data integrity. So this here would be a string value, and we are trying to store that in a numeric column. That's not going to work. There is one situation where you need to be extra careful with the data type that you give a column. When you have a foreign key, or right here, <laughs> and it references a primary key, these both have to be the same data type. That's super important. If you're having problems creating foreign keys, that might be part of the problem. The primary key might be a different data type than what you were trying to make the foreign key. One other keyword I got for you is index. You can tell the database to index important columns. And in fact, it's going to index certain columns automatically. Primary keys are automatically indexed. Unique columns are automatically indexed. Foreign keys, on the other hand, are not automatically indexed, but oftentimes you will want to manually index them because we use them so much. What an index does is increase the speed that we can work with these columns. So when we are doing a select statement, if we are selecting the columns that are part of an index, we are going to have a much faster query. Now the last thing I got for you guys is that when you have a foreign key referencing a primary key or a unique column, this is known as a relationship. And that is what we will be discussing in the next video. So thank you guys for watching. Hopefully this was helpful. As always, please click subscribe if you want to support this channel. And if you've enjoyed this video, please click like. If you guys got any suggestions at all, leave a comment and maybe I can make a video about it. Thanks guys, and I will see you in the next video.